Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> we are headed to Home Depot. I need to get two planters for something that I'll show you at the end of the video. And I wanted to look at a few hostas possibly to plant in front of our house in the mulch. Um, our little shrubs are looking a little... I kind of want to dress it up a little bit and I also want to plant something that is not only cheap but that will come back again next year and this radio is really loud. <laughs> so we are on our way to Home Depot and maybe I'll take you along so you can see what is in Home Depot right now. Okay, we just pulled up. Let's go see what they got. Oh, they brought the cacti outside. What are these? a really pretty arrangement but for $99 hmm. it's is really it, pretty? it is pretty though it's tall <laughs> hey how about these Mia do you like the colors on these or no I didn't really want a limey color. Oh, I wanted something like those. Oh, sorry. But see, these don't look like they're very, very good condition. What is this one? What does it say? Oh, good old Home Depot, not knowing what a plant is. Is it a Sansevieria? It says succulent. Look, there's a baby down there. Baby. So I think I'm gonna get a few of these and plant them out in the front of my house. Um, they're a perennial pasta ben vernoui. They grow pretty big. So, negative 40. That's perfect for us. Whoa, look at these house plants. Wow, this is kind of crazy. Look at their like pink. Ooh, I don't have the pink and green one. I have those. I have the red. Let's pick out a few of these. You and your Dracinas. I love Dracinas. So you have two of them. Yeah, and <laughs> I think this is the same, pretty much the same video we filmed when we were here last time. And I was like, "You have one already," and you're like, "Yeah." But look at this bamboo. Which is it? Ten dollars. <laughs> decisions, decisions. <laughs> they have philodendron Brazils here. Scooch, scooch, scooch. Yeah, they sure do. Look at that. How much are they? Wow. Impressive. I love syngoniums. Look at this variegation. It's like white, white. What is this? Got 
Lisa. All right, I'm back home. I'm gonna set up my little handy dandy tripod here and I am going to pot up these. Aren't they pretty? They are Kimberly Queen ferns and I got them at this other jewel, not the one I did a video of, but a different one for 11 bucks. I mean, how pretty is that? So I got some 12 inch, or I'm sorry, I got some 16 inch pots that I'm gonna pot these guys in and they're just gonna sit down here. I think they really set off the front porch. And then I got some hostas that I'm going to pop in and around here. I'm not sure what's going on with this bush, guys. I think I might need to cut this out of here. It looks like it fried. Ugh. Um, I'm gonna put like two in here, pick these weeds, maybe two over here. They're perennial, so they'll come back every year. These are hostas too. Hey, get out of my garden. Um, these are hostas too, and these come back every year. This one is like a little shabby thing compared to these guys. Look at how big they get. So you gotta plant them like, oh, it's a whole gang of you folks. I see you. Um, so yeah, so these get pretty big and you're supposed to plant them 20 inches apart. So I'm thinking two right here. They're fairly small right now. Maybe just one in the center there where the owl is. And then if you come around over here, I'm thinking I'm gonna put one in the corner back there. So what is that? Two, three, four, maybe one here, five, maybe another one back there, six. And then I was thinking of actually putting one right here, digging this up and putting one right here. And then another one on the other side right there. So let's get to it. I do really like the way that they look. Um, they probably will get bigger because they have quite a bit of space. I'd say they probably have maybe this much down below and maybe two inches around the sides. I don't know if you could see him, but <laughs> he's laying down watching me. Okay, I got it done, guys. Let's check this out. So I planted one hosta there did one there. I'm not sure where I'm going to put my owl. I'll see. Maybe I'll put them in the corner over here. Then I planted one at the base of the stairs here on the side. Then I did one on this side and then one back there and then one on the other side to kind of cover up that unfinished brick face that's going on there. All right, so they're going to get pretty big and fill in. There's my ferns. And then I also put one at the base of the tree. Didn't run into any roots. And one at the base of this tree. These are not going to overpower the trees. They're planted around trees all the time. I know these are a little bit further away from the base, but like I said, I did not run into any roots. If I did, I would not have proceeded. So we should be good. Okay, I'm a sweaty mess. Look at my hands. Oh my gosh. Thank you for joining me in this video. I'm exhausted. I don't garden, so this is definitely a step up from house plants, I'll tell you that. If you like videos like these, be sure to give them a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'm whispering because I think my neighbors are out. And be sure to subscribe. I don't do this all the time. It's mostly house plants, I promise. Thanks guys. See you in my next one.